Hello everybody, and today we tear this model of Earth Kingdom down, so let's get started. So this is the model of Earth Kingdom, or more commonly known as model CA001. And to tear this camera down, you need to pop out these four cover right here, which underneath is four screws for each of those. So let's grab my screwdriver and pop those out. And I'm using uh, uh, tri a Philips triple zero bits. <laughs> you could you could also use the the Philips double zero bits <laughs> to undo to undo those screws. And there we go. So we so we have opened the the back cover of this of this action cam successfully. <laughs> let's let's leave this thing aside for now. <laughs> and as you can see on the top, on the top, he's he's the batteries, and this connector right here is for the speakers, and this connector right here is for the microphones. So I'm going to oh, I have to remove the SD card first, <laughs> and and that's the first thing you should do when you <laughs> when you turn out this kind of things. Can be a little bit fiddly. There we go. Try to get SD card. But anyway. Yeah. Yep. I have removed the the ring around it. And to remove this, we we need we need to remove the the four screws here. One, one, two. Mm, three and four. So let's remove those. And these and these screws are, are somehow longer than the than the than the other screws. Oh yeah, and let's remove the battery connections. So the so the battery is pretty interesting. So these are two 3.7 volt cell, I believe, stacked together in parallel. So so it advertises that as this battery is as this camera having 640 milliamp mAh hours capacities, and if you just Try it careful enough. There we go. So each cell is if you can focus. 300 to 322 milliamp hours. And this cell is the same cells and there are and there are connectors to to put in. So I'm going to remove that. And you should never remove battery cell with screwdrivers, because if you puncture that, it's game over. I'm just going to leave this in. The glue is too strong. And I don't want to and I don't want to cause a, a fire, a fire or something. Because these batteries are dangerous when punctured, and I just removed the 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 other battery safely using what well, my pl plastic bright tools, <laughs> like those on you see when when you fix iPhone or something like that. So yeah, have to take precaution against those batteries. Dangerous if you puncture it, and I don't and I don't want to to burn to burn this to burn my place down. So yeah, and back to the last screws. So I have to use one of uh, one of these some, one of these small flathead screws uh, to uh, to to actually unscrew it, cause the 
because the tip say is well it's it's just large so yeah connector or something like that I don't I don't know what's this big thing called so yeah anyway let's remove that screws and there we go <laughs> and the whole board <laughs> and the whole board just lift out and I need to remove these connectors this one for the microphones this one for the speakers <laughs> and, 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 I will, and I will just leave this aside so we have the circuit board so let's see the front side of the board first because that's the side accessible for now so, so on the front side of the circuit board we have a wireless chip container of some kind <laughs> probably, for, probably for the Wi-Fi and BLE functions <laughs> and, the, and these are the antenna for it <laughs> and, we also, and, we also, and we also have a lens <laughs> and the image sen sensor underneath <laughs> and we also have a windbound chip which is probably to contain the firmware and nothing else <laughs> and, th and this is the micro SD card the connector for the charging port, micro USB, some kind of chip, and this is some kind of um I see two what's it four five two LB one this chip right here that's the chip in question just going to hold it, hold it still <coughs> and, and, and this is a windbound chip if I can get there we go <coughs> and, and this is some kind of chip <coughs> I can I can't even read the chip the chip's number on the screen, so yeah. You could wheel on your big screen but I'm but I'm having my camcorder my camera screen is like three inches <laughs> or two point seven so I can't read it. So I cannot read it. <laughs> and and this is the wireless and this is the wireless can <laughs> parts number GPS six six two I think. This number is large, so it's easy to read. <laughs> and some passive components, resistor, capacitors, some inductors, <laughs> some other chips, transistor or voltage reg regulators. And interestingly, um, you can expand your Wi-Fi range or Bluetooth range <laughs> using these connectors. But I don't know. How, but I don't know how effective it would be. Oh. Or if, or if this, or if this connector is, is just a test bond. But anyway, but anyway, let's see. Wow, what's the, what's the, what does the back, the backs of the board contains? So I'm going to remove these two screws here. Now you could either use a, a Phillips triple zero. Double zeros, or, or a small flat, or a small flathead like this. Is there no screws? No, it's just the connectors, and remove the connectors. There we go. It seems stuck. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! There's just. The plastic stocks. So this size, we only have the micro USB connector. Nothing special. Just a charging port <laughs> and a data transfer port. But on the back side, oh, we have two big chips. <laughs> so we have. We can focus. Hold on. <laughs> we have. Um, if we can focus. 
So we got, so we have an AIT chips, and this is an AIT A42 HE, <laughs> and there's also a Micron RAM. That's the number is oh upside down. 6V J17 something like that there we go and aside from those two chips we also have a blurry circuit board oh there we go so we also have some kind of um, voltage regulator or something like that Transistors, some more chips, um, crystal, crystal, <laughs> and uh, and these are the screws for the for the image sensors. Some kind of chips, some kind of chips. Look, another crystal, and that's it. And I will also be taking those two screws, cause we all want wh what's lying. Why it's lying underneath those the small ends. So let's take that apart. Is it going to be a high quality mm, image sensor? I don't know. You will be the judge of it. All right. So this is the image sensor. So this <laughs> is the image sensor. So it looks like a widescreen. So so it looks like a widescreen image sensor, cause, cause I have ne never seen, I have never seen that, that kind of sensor before. Must be a widescreen one. Of the other camera that I teared out, it's like four by three. Or three by two. This one is like proper sixteen by nine. And I hear and I heard that it's using an OV image sensor. I don't know which. It is mentioned in the manual though. And it's a 4 megapixel image sensor maximum and can record at 4 megapixel, something like that. <laughs> and, and that's a 1 2.8, 1 over 2.8 inch, I think, or 1 over, or 1 over 3rd of an inch image sensor, something like that. And yeah. And yeah, that is it for the Motorola Motorola Verve cams. Thanks for watching.